Hello everybody and welcome back to Roguelike Roulette. We are playing Dungreed yet again for the second episode. We just made ourselves to level 10. We've delved into the depths of the dungeon a few times now. We've built a few different bits and bobs. We've now got the ability to actually start with some items. So let's get straight into this and go into the mine. I don't think we're going to be using the shop right now. I think money's going to be pretty precious for upgrades and things like that. Um, starting items might get more like usable later on but i think for right now it's probably gonna be well advised to not buy anything especially not some of the bigger items okay that was a bad hit he did 20 damage a hit wow okay that was a bad hit already um i'm gonna be a little out of practice it has been like almost a week since i played this um i have been recording sort of for the episodes coming out so it has been a little while i should probably practice a little more but what i don't want to happen is i don't want to get ahead of myself and record too much i want you guys to be able to leave me feedback that i can react to rather than me having a backlog of 15 videos and me not really being able to take in feedback properly i'd much rather do do fewer and take in more feedback right oh my god that sounds amazing look at that okay i might save up and buy that i know i just said we probably need our money but that looks like it would really really help that's a lot and a lot of max hp and all that sort of jazz so okay so we got mr boy here okay luckily actually this guy i don't know how he hit me in the first place he's really really easy to dodge to be honest okay let's go for this guy okay we should be able to sneak by him there Got him. Nice. Okay, then bats are really difficult. So far, there's been a few, from what I've noticed, enemies in this game specifically, that are really, really difficult. Like, most of the time, most enemies aren't that bad at all. But, like, like these guys are really not that hard. And there's just two or three that are really hard. Right, now, last time we got hit by that thing, so let's not this time around. We've got ourselves steel dual swords. Now, what could be better than one sword? Obviously, two. So each attack increases your attack speed by 20%. Oh my god, that sounds amazing. So we can get like really high stacking attack speed from this, which sounds brilliant. I'm very much in love with these. And also, if we have a look as well, the damage is about the same. We've got um, 8 to 10 or 7 to 10. So overall, it seems like it's going to be much better. We also just found this as well. Charm of Madness, I believe we had that last time. If I remember correctly, it's pretty good. Yeah, so we got max life from it and extra power. And yeah, I think that's pretty damn good. We lost 3 HP for what will be a decent power increase. I think that's well worth the cost of doing business, so let's keep on moving on. So, it seems that we just should never stop attacking. This this guy I still really find difficult. Oh my god, they're really good. They're really, really good. Okay, I'm, I'm getting hit way too much right now. Look at this. This is so good. Right, we can keep going this way. We have enough for the food now. We should probably go get it. Right. Just keep swinging and... Come back down here, you. Ooh, we just got some healing there. That's nice. Okay, so let's, let's chill over here. Kill all the easy enemies. Okay, that was lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So let's go to the food shop. I'm going to buy that expensive food because it seems really good. It has so many good things with it. 7.7 .7 defense, great. Extra critical chance, great. Toughness, true damage, and max HP. Just like, that's the perfect food, honestly. That's so good. Um, and then on top of that, let's go with that one. There you go. That seems like a pretty good setup, and we've actually got a pretty good amount of max HP now. I think that was a pretty damn good food shop. I think saving our money rather than buying items to come in with and getting a food shop like that is way more valuable. Okay, so killing her really early on is beautiful. Unfortunately, I did get hit by this guy, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem. Okay. Make sure we pick up all our gold. Don't be forgetting about any of that. Almost got hit by that guy. Got him. You can't catch me now, boy. Oh my god, these things are amazing. These things are amazing. We've got a shitty stone chest. The Basically, from what I understand, the shitty stone chests are just sellables. Like, they're just there 
for you specifically to sell items to the shop and get money because they really aren't that valuable at all. Like, I very rarely get an item that I want from them. I don't even think there's a chance for a blue item from them, so, oh my god, I got hit by a dog. Let's hope we get some good healing. If we can kill the boss, then we'll get perfectly decent healing. There's some healing. Oh, it's just so fast. We got more, boys. <laughs> we got the same thing again. Right. So, this one gives us... Okay, so this one's actually a little better because this one gives us nothing else and this one gives us an extra dash. So we might as well swap those out for the ones that give us an extra dash. Because why would you not want an extra dash? That's really nice. Okay, so I think this floor's mostly cleared out now and she's found the boss room. Getting that healing was very important for our survival here. Okay, so this big boy is going to be a pain in the ass. We'll, we'll try and let him do his charge. He does a charge and a swipe. Yeah, there you go. Not too bad at all. And money's getting back up there as well. Like, you do earn money relatively quickly in this game. I've noticed that. All right, let him fire. Oh my god. That was unfair. I did not see that guy. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage. Oh, baby. And I just took the entire, the entire hit from that. So, on pretty low health now. From, from rich to poor very quickly here. Not so great. Not so great at all. Um, yeah, that that didn't go terribly well for us, did it? So we might we might be in trouble just a little bit here. So we've got our boss. Let's go do it. We might be a little in trouble here. I'm really hoping not, considering how much we spent on all the food we've bought this, this run. I'm really hoping we can get through this guy. But at the same time, I do think we're going to have a little bit of trouble with him because we just lost a lot of very important HP. And I don't know how to dodge this attack still. You can't dodge through it, so I don't really get it. Stop doing that attack. How do you dodge this attack? It just feels like guaranteed damage. What the hell? How do you dodge that? I don't get it. I don't get it. So that was a really good start, but obviously didn't end so well. We did level up though, which is nice. How much gold are we taking back with us? We took all of it that time, so we didn't actually lose too much gold there. So. This time, we'll, we'll go to our skills and make sure to, to level up, train up. What was we going into? We were going into this one, weren't we? Um, yeah, I think we're going to this one, so let's go into Greed more. We want to get up to the maximum Greed. Greed seems really useful. Um, let's fast travel to the shop woman and see if we can get anything good from her. Shop. Leather armor. Um, that seems really good. We'll buy ourselves some leather armor. Um, and honestly, I don't think we want anything else. I think the leather armor is going to do it for us, pretty much. It seems very valuable already. So straight in we go. That was a very quick run, that first one. That's going to be, the, that's gonna be the, uh, the common run for us until we start getting better at this game and understanding the controls a little better and getting some better armor and items along the way. While we've not got much defense and stuff like that, it's going to be difficult for us. I am annoyed how, how good that food was and how much I wasted it there. Right, so let him charge. Do his big slice. We should be able to get him here. There you go. Before he's actually going to unfortunately drop any money though. Cheap skit. Okay, jumping is the key. I should jump a lot more. A lot, lot more. Getting the food shop really early is lovely. Um, what do you got for us? So, no green food, unfortunately. That is a shame. Um, let's go for... Uh... So, we've got... Power defense critical. Power defense max HP. Let's go with that one. Power defense max HP seems very valuable. We always want to buy from the shop as early as we can as well here. There you go, got him. And he actually dropped a quite big chunk of money this time around, which is nice. Basically, we've made up all the money we just lost for, for eating already. Oh, and we've got some healing, which we don't actually need. We've got exactly 100 HP. Okay, this is the this is the, the dude that I do not get how to, how to counter properly. I am not good at fighting uh, this bat. Look at that. Seems the way to counter him is to just instantly, instantly move out of the way. Get 
out him. Nice amount of gold here. And we get some healing. I think we had healing in the last room. I don't know if that sticks around. It does. Okay, so we got back up to full, which is nice. That's a rarity, that is. It seems that healing is pretty hard to come by in this game. Like, you don't really get much of it. So you, you, you've got to fucking use it when you get it. I mean, hopefully you don't have to use it. But when you do, make sure to take the most out of it. Right, so... This is a really awkward place for that bat to be in, because we're having to attack pretty pretty weirdly here. But if we get enough crits, he should be fine. There you go, we got him. Wasn't too bad. And this room, we've got quite a lot of big boys. Okay, there you go. Jumping, as I said, is the absolute key here. That has become very apparent to me. There you go. Cleared out them. And please don't say we've got the little... She devil. I hate the she devil. Excuse me, hitting me for four whole damage. Luckily, we critted her. That really helped out. And let's hope we can find a chest coming up soon. We're a bit lacking in items. And there you go. That is something you want. The Ring of Madness. Have we had this before? I can't remember. Um, Ring of Madness. Minus 20% max HP. Minus 10 defense. Damage against stronger enemies plus 10 is 20%. And 50 power plus 3 evasion. That's a risky one. That sure is a risky one, but we've got to play with the cards we get. We cannot give uh, give away an uh, epic tier item. I don't know, is that epic tier? I say the purples are legendary and this is epic, maybe? I don't know. Normally the colours are a bit reversed, so it's hard to know. Okay, so this guy's going to be the easier one to get. Got him. And this guy we kind of have to just wait for. And strike while the iron's hot sort of thing. There you go. That actually worked. And then we got a stone chest, which could give us a new weapon. Uh, it gave us lumber, which I know for a fact is bad. Um, lumber, 95% chance to break when attacking. So basically, we get to hit an enemy once with it for a massive amount of damage. But that's it. There you go. I mean, it's it was nice while it lasted, I suppose. Technically. You hit me. How? No way, dude. Okay, we've got a chest up there, too. We are going to have to do some fine maneuvering to get to it, but that's that's all right. Uh, we did actually get a weapon out of that, which is very, very good indeed. Four evasion on that's very good, and the ability was something to do with stunning. Increased stun chance for a little while. That's really nice. And it seems to have a little bit extra range, too, which is always good. Um, so we need to go down here. All the way down here. Okay, getting her KO'd that quickly is beautiful, I will say. Got to make sure to search everywhere. We haven't found Croc yet. We can probably sell him one or two things. Okay, so let's let's get the stun ability going. Oh yeah, the stun ability seems pretty good. I like me some stunning. It's pretty stunning, if you know what I mean. Okay, here's Croc. How you doing, my fella? Um, would you buy this from me? No, you will not. Cloth armor. Let's buy the cloth armor, considering how we're, how we're playing right now. We're playing pretty glass cannon, so I, I would I would like to avoid that, to be honest. Um, we want to keep going this way. Okay, this is an easy room. These guys very rarely hit you. Oh, that just got a bit harder. Okay, we want to be using the stun basically on, like, whenever it's charged, on recharge. That should be the best way to do that. And we've done everything, unfortunately, it's straight to the boss here. Let's go back and see if we can buy some more food here. We do have enough saturation, saturation, whatever you want to call it, to get some food. So I think we want to get this one here. It's probably going to be best for us. We've still got quite a lot of money as well. We're making money as we go. We do actually have one room up here that I didn't notice, so... Apollo G's. Okay, you need to... Ho! Oh, one shot! Boy! That's what I like her to see. That's what I like her to see. Okay, there's another guy down here, a Berman. And we have some HP up there, which is actually very, very nice and well worth the time spent on doing that room. And now we have to try and do the boss. I think this weapon's much weaker, but we do have this crazy ring that's giving us 50 power and all that jazz. If we actually go to C here, we can see that... Our power is 80, um, meaning our strength is upped by quite a bit. 80% uh, bonus damage 
very, very nice. So I'm going to activate my stun straight away. I very highly doubt we can stun the boss, but in case we can, I might as well activate it. Okay, so let's see. How do you... How do you dodge that? I need to pay, a, pay closer attention to how that attack works. Because right now, I really don't understand it. Okay, okay. I kind of get it now. You've got to move up the platforms. I still think it's very difficult to dodge. I mean, that one's pretty difficult as well. Yeah, I still think it's quite difficult to dodge. Luckily, we actually did that quite easily. But I can kind of see how you do that now. It maybe, maybe feels like I need one more dash to make that a bit more doable. But honestly, you don't take that much damage anyways. I've noticed that Dangerously Funny, when he plays, he just tanks through that attack as well. So it's not as if I'm making a huge mistake. Ring of Midas is actually quite nice. So Ring of Midas on, on some runs isn't really that useful. But I know for a fact it gives you a lot of gold drop. 75% gold drop so that should mean we take a lot more gold out of the dungeon with us if it's a percentage based thing i'm not actually sure if it's a threshold or a percent or what i'm really not sure uh that room is not even combat and lovely to get the food shop this early on so we do have um a cookie i am gonna take that i'll take that as well um, and then next we'll go for... I think we'll go for hot chicken stew there. That seems really, really good, but we need to get a bit more saturation before we can do that. Hey, hello. Oh, I forgot to read that. I'm sorry. I'm right. Can you first let me out of here, adventurers? Don't get lost, right? Okay, we saved a guy. I'm sorry I didn't read that. Oh, hello. This room's a bit weird. There's health in these. I didn't know that. Ow. I immediately got hit. You bastard. I got hit again? Are you kidding me, laddie? Okay, these barrels contain some HP. Ah, I see. It's like a trap room. I didn't even notice that for a little while there. You go in, you try and get the gold, you end up getting HP and an ambush. That's a pretty cool room. We've got basically most of our HP back there, so no harm, no foul. Uh, still don't really know how to use the altar. Looks like something's going to be placed on it. Must have to find an NPC to use that. Okay, that was beautiful. You can heck off. I'm going to stun ability and get in there, just in case. Okay, that was good. I'm starting to learn to use my dodge a little more now as well. Okay, this room seems awful. Right, I'm going to wait for my stun ability to go, to go off cooldown and then go in. I think that's going to be the best course of action here. Okay, just, just get out. Wow, did you see how much damage we just took there? That's unprecedented. Unprecedented amount of damage. Right, let's go for the, uh, the food. We were going to get this one. Oh, boy. Oh boy, we took a bit of damage there. We really did. That that's that's kind of an evil room. You've got to clear that room very very quickly. I imagine is the idea at least. I did not do that. Oh my god, we're getting so much gold as well. So we can really start to rack it up. It means we can buy more food and that's really nice. Unfortunately, oh my god, I got hit again. Unfortunately, we don't really have too much in the way of long range. So I'm really hoping for a better weapon to come along pretty sharpish. Okay, these guys are a pain, but we can deal with them. In fact, we can deal with them quite easily. I didn't realize we'd be able to, but we did. Okay, good, good, good. And the fact that all these enemies are dropping this much, and we gain an extra four for each piece as well, like... That's really good. That's a four, uh, like yeah, like a forty percent increase when we get ten. When we get a hundred, obviously it's not as valuable, but still think that's a pretty good food. Some of the food effects are really interesting. I do like them a lot. We got you. Almost got that guy. And there's one more over this way. Are you kidding me? I dodged into it rather than above it. I'm what they call stupid. Also, what is it with this thing being a massive line? 
entire level was in just one continuous line there. I'm, I'm destroying barrels everywhere I go now just in case they contain food. Right, sell. Sell. This is kind of the best build we've had yet. So, we've got a decent chance here, but this guy could fuck up our day. Do you know when I said fuck up our day and he deals so much damage that I almost die in one hit? Ooh, gold star keyboard. Let's have a little look at that, shall we? Um, Decent damage, decent attack. Gives us defense and attack speed. Damage against stronger enemies. Sounds good. Try it out. Might not be better. It might be better. Okay, so it's, it, I thought it was some reason. It, it, for some reason, it was going to be ranged. It's of course not ranged, but it does seem to. Oh my god, that evade chance! Wow. Okay, there is a freeze effect in the game here, and we got ourselves a green bat. So we would have to trade that for uh, um, accessory, and I don't really know which one I want to give up. In fact, I don't want to give up any of them particularly. Um, I know that the bats like fire at things for you, so it gives us a little bit of range, but I, I think it's a little risky. Okay, for a chest, this probably isn't worth it. We we have too little life to make that a priority right now. And sadly, we're onto the boss, which, which basically all but guarantees our demise, which is a shame. Oh, that's a bit of HP there, though. Clutch daddy. So I've, I've seen this boss a few times again with Dangerously Funny. I know that you've got to destroy these things very quickly, and there's icicles that fall everywhere. Yeah. Yeah, as I expected, we're going down. It's going to take me a while to learn this game, so I do apologize for those of you that are expecting me to be some sort of roguelike god, but I'm, I'm sure none of you do. Um, we, we lost quite a lot of gold there, but going down with 3,100, that's not too bad. We'll exit over and talk to this new guy. Quick start has been unlocked. Okay, so we can we can enter into the dungeons a little bit quicker if we would like to. Let's, let's go talk to this new guy. Great job, my name is Hacken. I'm a blacksmith. I have heard about your situation that you have to explore the dungeon. I will create weapons whenever I can, but... I will only make weapons I want to make. Don't worry about the quality. Take good care of my children. Okay. Apparently, we've got to take care of his children now. Okay, this guy's got a new thing to craft. I'm sure it's a building for this man. 2,000. Easy bangers, my lad. Easy bangers. Talk to the blacksmith before you enter the dungeon, and you'll get one useful item. Okay, so this means... Oh, my God. That's a lot of new items. Awesome. Uh, so this means I'm, I'm thinking... So first of all, we want to go over here and train up. Because we did get a few more... I didn't want to talk to you. Let me train. Um, we get a few more of these. Let's keep on playing with this because I think getting to that is going to be really nice. And let's move over to this guy. So we take talk to him. He'll give us one use volume. He actually gave us the baby green bat. So basically now we're starting with an accessory. Um, I don't exactly know what the baby green bat does, but I think it will shoot at things for us. And then we can also talk to the shop and get ourselves a weapon to start with or something. So starting with a saber seems really good. For true damage, so if you don't know what true damage is, I only learned this recently. True damage basically means it will always, no matter what, no matter whether they have armor or defense, it will always deal an extra four damage on top of what it deals. Oh yeah, okay. I'm, I'm liking the setup. Unfortunately, we don't have any armor to go in with, which would have been nice, but this is a pretty good setup to start with, I think. I think we're definitely on to something here, um, and we could have a pretty good chance. The only problem with this run, like, as opposed to some of our other runs, is we do not have much money. So, I'm going to play it slow and steady. There you go, there you go. This woman's by far the worst. If you're next to her when she does her attack, it just fucks you up so bad. I mean, this... this Saw blades not not being very useful for us. Um, okay, I've played this room before. Oh, okay, you can fall off that platform. That's good to know. Do not get hit by that guy. He stuns you and really messes you up. This this thing's really good. The saber is really good. Plus four true damage is an insanely good stat. And we just got ourselves what seems to be a health fairy, which I would assume works the- oh my god, I took damage there. Which I would assume works the same way the health fairy from the end boss works, from the like, boss of this floor works, where you get 80 healing. It might not be quite 80, but that's going to be a hefty bit of healing. We've got to remember that's there for later. It's going to be very useful. 
But right now, we have really good damage because we're getting extra damage output from our bat as we swing at things. So I really think this is quite quite a good little setup we've got going on here. As long as we can take like as little damage as possible before going into the boss, I think we've got a better chance this time around. I think that Ring of Madness really hurt us in the last run as well. Big paintbrush. Melee attacks. Path also deal damage to enemies. Okay. Extra dash damage. Don't really want that. Don't really care about that. I love the music. Okay, cool. So, honestly, because we've got that little fairy there, I think we were pretty good to take some risks this floor and not worry too much about HP. Because we will be getting a good chunk back from her. I would say we're going to get at least 40 healing if I was to guess from her. That, that, that fact that it's a brick really annoys me. I keep trying to pass through it and it's not pass throughable. There you go there. Good amount of gold. Make sure to pick it all up. I wish there was an item or like just a, a starting thing you could unlock where all the gold would rush to you like an into the gungeon. That seems like it'd be really useful in a game like this. We need to go left. Oh, hello. We got the Ring of Madness again. Okay, the Ring of Madness is is real tricky because it makes us quite a lot less defensive, but it ups our attack by so much. Like, if we can build on crit, we can just kill things before they hurt us. That could be the way we play this. Hey, cloth armor's nice. That's some of the white items that I do respect quite a lot. The cloth items seem really... Oh, my God. Seem really valuable. I don't want to get her yet. I'm going to pick her up before we fight the boss. Food shop. You have a few bits and bobs for us. Unfortunately, no green food. Let's try and go for as much critical as we can get. Um, so, power and critical chance. Let's just go for that. And we might be able to get that as well. We will see. Depends how many rooms are left. Okay, it's annoying that that bat got triggered there. Okay, that was really good for us. Ah, oh, you fucker. Ah, oh, you fucker. Ah, oh, you fucker. Okay, that bat better heal me for a lot because I just took way too much damage. Please heal me for a good amount. 20! No, I was expecting it to heal even way more than 20. I'm super sad about that. Okay, we we, we put ourselves in a bad position there. I, I bum rushed him. Not a good idea. We're taking a lot more damage right now as well. Uh, attack speed increase when with a one-hand weapon. That seems very useful. Um, ignore spike type damage. Additional 10 power for every 50 HP, 20% attack speed, 24% gold draw. Seems really good, but the, 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 the true damage we have right now is really good. Let's go with them. Let's try them out. They're expensive, but they seem like they'd be pretty good. We might not even get to have them for that long, so... But 20% attack speed with one-handed weapons seems like really, really good. We should also sell to that guy as well. We've got a few things that we're not using right now. Shop. Sell. 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 Sell, sell, sell. Okay, so the bats are precisely the type of enemies that we don't want to get involved with. Good, good, good. The the bat that's, that's dealing with his own shit over there, we can come round to, we can get back to. For now, let's not worry about him. He's pretty accurate with his tracking. That's the annoying thing. Oh, we did get some healing over here. Is that another one of those spooky bookies? Ah, it's just a small one. We got a mirror of the mummy. Okay, then. Mirror of the mummy. Poisons the enemies that you attack. So, is this a... It's one of them, yeah. Um, 15 enhanced poison damage. Okay, that's, that's really good. I'm, I'm actually thinking that that's probably going to be better than the bat. Yeah. I'm st I still want to keep this on because it's just buku damage. And I can't say no. I just can't. I simply can't. Uh, we can go into the food shop again, though. Oh, that's not the food shop. 
What you playing at, Croc? Playing with my affairs. Trifling with my affairs. Um, right, let's have a little look-see. So, we'll just buy this one here. Ah, too high. Too high, you say? Let's just go with that. Nope, too high again. Okay, so I need to do, like, one or two more rooms first. Shit. I can't count, people. Don't judge me. Oh, did you see that dog hit me then? That was skillful, that was. That was some true skill, dog. Okay, good, good, good. We got a chest for that as well. Oh, uh, stone chest with Gladys in it. Gladius. You bastard. Okay, so let's play this safe. Oh my god, I said play it safe, not get hit by her. Oh god, I thought it was a chest spawning. That was not a chest spawning, that was a man. Okay, we should have enough to buy that food now. Okay. Doing a little better on HP here. I think we've got a chance at the boss if we don't get murked by that attack again. It seems that it's really random whether he does that circling attack, like, really often, or doesn't do it at all. Oh, yes. Some HP before the fight. We're back in it. Yeah, it seems a bit random whether he does that or not, so let's just hope he doesn't do it much. The hand beam is his easiest attack. This one's always kind of a little difficult, but it's not too bad. Okay, I need to pause. i got a really itchy nose. Always at the worst times. I did jump right into that, so I do apologize. I think we can just tank through this all now. Yes, we did it. Considering we're getting 80 healing, we only have 82 max HP here. I don't really care how much I get hurt, it's just getting through the fight. It always gives you a shit ton of gold as well, like, so much gold. And what we get? We got the bomb pouch. Let's have a little look how that works. Leave a bomb when dashing, plus two defense. If I know anything about leave a bomb when dashing from gun from Gungeon with roll bombs, it's probably garbage. But considering we're going onto a harder floor, I probably want to take the ring off anyways, the Ring of Madness, so maybe it's worth it. Oh, it's so good when you get the food shop straight away. So. The only ones we can buy are these two. Um, defense. I'm going to wait and get that one there. Oh, hello. That spiky ball spawned right on me, and it spawned on me again. Where's the spiky ball guy? He's down here. I see it. The spikes down there, too. Okay. You got hit a lot there. A lot and a lot. There was lots of things happening there that I wasn't clear on. I didn't know there were spikes there. I didn't know he was down there. I didn't realize the, the spiky, the um, the ice ball spawning in looked the same as an enemy spawning in, so I was trying to smack them. Bad idea. Look at that, it looks it looks exactly like an enemy spawning in. You can't do that to me. Okay, I'm gonna die. Oh boy, I'm dead. <laughs> He's dead again. So we're consistently making it to icy caves now, which is nice, but it's gonna take us a little while before we get through this floor. I'm sure our level somewhat contributes to this as well. So let's F to quick start, not quick start, sorry. Tab to move over, skill up, more into this. Then we go over to you. Actually, no, we always do this guy first because we might get a weapon from him. I don't even know you can get weapons from him. You can, bamboo sword. Is that any better than what we're using right now? Five to six. Definitely faster attack speed, so probably yes. It's like double the attack speed. Uh, then we can shop. We want to be buying the chain armor, definitely. That's a lot of defense, actually. Um, that seems really strong. I think we're just going to stick with our bamboo sword here, though. I think that seems best. So then we can do quick start. Okay, so quick start lets you take your item. Ah, okay, that's really nice. It lets you take your item and buy from the shop before you go in without having to run around. So let's get out our bamboo sword. Yeah, the attacks on the bamboo sword are well fast. That actually seems really, really good for like a crit build. Ow. Jumped into him straight away. 
Yeah, I'm really liking that. If we can up our crit chance to like insane levels, that'd be really, really good. Dude, the way he just phases through the floor and gets you is so annoying. Excuse me, Malado. Not okay. Food shop straight away. I love it. Right, very bad one here. We'll go with the onion soup and get the 10% HP. Um, and then we'll go with defense and evasion next. Hey, the healing there's really nice. Really, really nice. Smack this guy about. Smack his titties about. You know the deal. Croc's here already? Hello, Crocker. We basically went the, the wrong way straight away there, but we found some good stuff, so I don't care. Okay, this is a weird room. Just smack, smack them all about as quick as possible. <laughs> this bamboo thing's crazy good. It's weird how you value things. I, I imagine there'll be a day where I'm like, when did I ever think this was good? How did I ever, ever, ever think this was a good item? Right For right now, while I'm such a low, like, tier, I'm a, I'm a low tier fool, it feels amazing to use. Excuse me, squire. Right, we'll let him fire again, and then go in for the kill. We need to be killing them before they fire again, that's like the key to this. So this guy, we can sit here, let him fire one more time, and go in on him. There you go, and we get an extra chest there. Gladius, we don't want to use Gladius. I know it's called Gladius, and I keep calling it Gladius, but it just makes me think, what the fuck are these things? These are new. Oh my god. <laughs> they explode, and they fire fireballs. That's what they do. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. That was a bit surprising. Um, we can go to the food shop again, so let's do that. Go get our defense and all that sort of shaz. I want to do this, this last one because it gives us defense and evasion. Obviously, power is really nice too, but defense and evasion is very good. Also, the healing on it was quite nice too. I'm liking it. Alright, so we got one of you. And do your thing, then we'll move over, finish you off. Good amount of gold. Right, this guy, we'll let him fire again. Okay, let him fire again. Good, 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 nice and easy. Ah, uh, got him. The bow and arrow guy, he almost got me. I evaded it, yes. He did get me, but I evaded. This is that room that was really annoying last time. Actually, this room isn't too bad. It just looks really daunting. I did get hit by that guy. Probably shouldn't be getting hit by some of the easiest enemies in the game, but, you know. That's just how I be. How I be living. Hopefully we can upgrade this thing at some time. I know there's these little urns you can find that allow you to upgrade some of your weapons. They may, might be something you unlock a bit later, though. Oh, that was close. Got him. Love it. Nice. Right. I'm looking forward to being able to eat more food soon as well. That's going to be really nice. So he's going to do his charge attack. Yes, when you can get a few crits in, you can kill him before he does anything on his, like, second phase or whatever you call it. No other enemies? Okay, we do have a chest down here, though. Remember, the spikes there, so we got to do that. Got it. Good to go. And where to now? Have we been everywhere? I think we have. Looks like it. Let's go to Croc and sell our stuff. We've actually got good health for the boss this time as well. Shop. Um, let's sell, sell, sell. Power is increased. Um, let's let's try something. I'm gonna put that there. Oh wait a minute. No, let's go put that put that there. Then sell, sell. I can't sell that, unfortunately. I'm going to try something weird. I'm going to try and use that ability and switch to this weapon and see if it works. Magnet is crap. 5% critical chance is nice, though. Um, Blood Sword. They seem alright. 10% max HP. 
yeah, let's take the 10% max HP for now. And so we'll go. So basically, we start the fight with this thing. We press Q, then change weapon. I am betting it doesn't work, but I have to know. I have to know. It, it must be an ability that only works in the weapon that you're using. To be fair, let's have a look at the stats of this weapon. We haven't really looked, have we? So attack speed is far slower, but damage is a decent amount higher, so... It might end up being a better weapon anyways. Still, we'll try it. So we press Q, then 2. Q2. Yeah, it looks like it looks like it only works for the weapon that you're using. Oh no 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 no! no. It does work. It see you see that thing above our head. You see that thing above our head? Okay, we got hit by that minimally this time. Oh my god, it gives you very little time to dodge that. Evaded. Evaded. Ah, my god. We got him. Nice. Okay, we're getting past the first boss a good amount of times now. We're putting our thinking hats on. We're getting a going. Right. And the horse killer sword. I remember Dungreed saying he hates this thing. I want to know why. Maybe because it's super slow attacks, but let's try it out, shall we? Um, three evasion's really nice, actually. And the, the sharp eye's really nice. But it's nice to know you can use the sharp eye then switch weapon. That seems incredibly valuable. Um, because with fast, fast weapons, you can really make the most out of that there. But this thing does seem just way too slow. I mean, this thing probably could kill a horse, though, so... And it is killing things in almost one hit right now. And especially if it crits, it's going to kill in one hit. Hey, look, that thing again. <laughs> it's going to give us a lot of those, I imagine. Those chests seem awful. Oh, God. I hit spikes already. Oh, oh, I did not know that was one of them bats. Luckily, we got two crits on him straight away and a heal and another heal. What the hell? I am unsure as to what happened in that room, but we came out of it virtually unscathed, which is a miracle, to say the least. If we crit with this thing, it's insane. Maybe we want to be using the ability a little more often. I don't know how fast it recharges, though. I am going to use it once I get up here. Ah! Oh my god. I don't know how I survived that, but I did. Okay, we've got 10 healing there again. I think I destroyed a box underneath him. So, we just come out of that with even less scave. We're even more unscaved, although we did just get hit by this guy, which is not a good thing at all. So, it seems that these guys only move once you hit them. So, you're actually pretty safe to swipe and jump, like, as a tactic for them guys, which is actually nice to know. Got some more sellables. Ooh, uh, a blue chest is nice. Oh, hello. <gasps> oh my god! <coughs> oh my god! I shat myself so much. I inhaled, and I like. Oh my god! Uh, I like inhaled some saliva, and just. Oh my god! That was. <coughs> that was awful. That was the most shit myself moment of all time. That was so funny. Oh my god, I almost died. <sighs> oh god, I should have a drink. <laughs> and of course, in the process, I spill all of it down me. Because I am a functioning human adult. Oh ho ho, before he even got to attack... That's what are we like it to see. I'm actually quite liking this horse killing sword, but who knows, that's just me. I can see why Dungreed doesn't like it. He likes his not Dungreed, that's the game. Why Dangerous is funny doesn't like it because he likes his fast firing weapons, but honestly for me, high damage is like the way to go. If I can kill things in one hit or two hits rather than spending ages swinging at them and getting more crits and heals and stuff, I'm happy. Right, 
pick up all this gold. We're on 14 thou. 14 thou we're on. Unfortunately, still not found our um, our food shop yet, which is a shame, because we're on zero food right now. It would be nice to find that earlier on. So we'll try and kill this guy first. He's the most important to take out. Then we can take out all the, the rabble. What the hell? A bat just charged me down and then kind of exploded. How did I not hit that guy? And of course I jumped directly into the path of that shit. So that's good. Please, food shop. Hey, it's Croc. Sell. 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 Up to Buku Books. Oh my god, I need to stop getting hit by bullshit. Evade, that's nice. Got him. Right, please be the food shop. We need healing, and we need to use our bloody hunger bar. It's not. It's just a room full of bats and dogs. The dog bats and bat dogs. Okay, that's really unfortunate that he survived with that little HP. Oh, that's good. That's good. Oh, we got antibacterial. The silver earrings. We had this before, actually. And the uh, the silver ring. Very nice combo uh, for both the items themselves and what we got from it. So I'm happy with that. Oh, you hit me through the floor, you madman. That is not allowed in my house. I'll have you know, friend. I'll have you know. Do you know what is allowed in my house though? The food shop. Where is it? Excuse me, tell me where. Stop trying to blow me up, you stupid piece of shit. There's two of them now. That's not a good combo of enemies. Good, 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 we got them there. Right, food shop, please don't behoove me any longer. I could do with your your tasty treats. We're going to have to go through another big room first, though, so... We're going to take another hot load of damage there. A hot load. I was really not looking to take a hot load tonight, but apparently it is my fate. Oh, another one. In fact, this would be a cold load, wouldn't it? Ah! Please. Please, sell me some treats. You, bitch, where are you? Where is this heathen? That's a chest, at least. A ring of Midas. It is... Not gonna get war. Oh, two evasion. I'll put it on for two evasion. Two evasion, sexy. Um... So it's got to be this last room we check, hasn't it? The literal last room. You mega her. What you got for us? Deluxe burger. Your food isn't even that good, woman. Not even that good. Let's go with that one, shall we? Right. Yet again, we're in a pretty piss poor position to fight the boss. But that seems to be the way the world of the world goes right now for us i don't think the horse sword is going to be too valuable for this fight i will however carry on using it just to see we can get our increased crits it's going to be nice niffle him okay so we got one of them down maybe if we play this a little slower than than he normally does we might be okay Okay, we, we, we've done the first we've done the first bit that we need to do. Okay, she's 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 back with a vengeance. Okay, so that attack isn't actually that bad, and it actually gives us a decent opportunity to destroy these. I'm I'm liking this attack. I mean we're not gonna be able to kill her, of course, we just don't have enough damage. This is the attack we need to just chill at. Like, when, when it gets to this one, just don't move. What the fuck, woman? That wasn't in the fucking trade deal. What the hell? That wasn't in the contract. 
you bitch. What was that about? What was that about, woman? It seems, from what I can tell, with every level we gain, we can take a little bit more gold down with us. That might, I might be completely wrong with that, but it doesn't seem to be percent based, which is a shame. Um, but with that, we can upgrade some skilly skills, which is rather nice. We should be able to get to level 10 of this now, which means that uh, we are going to be doing pretty well. Uh, we're going to have increased saturated level by 25, meaning we can eat more, and then 10 more levels... We are going to um, be able to eat even more, get an extra dash charge, and get an extra accessory slot. The extra accessory slot seems amazing. Either way, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode thus far. I hope you guys are enjoying Roguelike Roulette. Please do let me know what you're thinking of the series. I really hope you guys are liking it. And I like you. Uh, well, I like you. I do like you, actually. Um, I hope you guys like the thumbnail as well. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.